This one's pretty simple. Tail Grizz until you can get the code to his fortress. We need to get in there if we're going to stop him. You shouldn't have any trouble finding him since he's tagged with the homing darts. Just follow the signal. We probably didn't even need the darts. He's kind of hard to miss. Okay, he's on the move, Sly. Stay close so I can pull the data we need off his phone. And don't underestimate him. He's no lightweight. It ain't your biz. My name is the Grizz. You see, I'm hairy and scary and all of that stuff. Get the heck out of my way. Oh, I'm gonna get rough. Whoa. <laughs> gonna make me a fortune. I'm the greatest around. All I gotta do is plant my heart in the ground. <laughs> It ain't your biz. My name is the Grizz. You see, I'm hairy and scary and all of that stuff. Get the heck out of my way. Oh, I'm gonna get rough. What? <laughs> gonna make me a fortune. I'm the greatest around. All I gotta do is put my art in the ground. <laughs> some kind of game on the Grizz? I'm tired of you telling me to walk the line straight when you're walking it all crooked. Yeah, that's right. Uh-uh, uh-uh, no, no, no. That ain't the deal we had. Nuh-uh. 
No, I got you the cane that that big old hairy dude made. Now you need to hook me up. Hook me up. Yeah. Ho hold on, hold on. I'm losing signal. Hold on. I said I'm losing signal. So hold on a sec, P. You catch. What? Fool, you trying to run some kind of game on the Grizz? I'm tired of you telling me to walk the line straight and you walking it all crooked. Yeah, that's right. Uh-uh, uh-uh, no, no, no. That ain't the deal we had. Nuh-uh, no. I got you the cane that that big old hairy dude made. Now you need to hook me up. Hook me up, yeah. Ho hold on, hold on, I'm losing signal. Hold on, I said I'm losing signal. I said, I hold on. I can't, hold on. You catch that, Bentley? Yeah, sounds like he's talking to my paradox, and there's trouble. Don't lose him. You got the grizz? Live a lot with a brush. Don't step on my canvas, cause you'll just get crushed. Why? what are you doing? We need that code. You there? Good. Now listen up. The eggs are running out here, but I need to keep my paint production going, so I need you to find me the resources. What? I don't know. You know, like uh, chickens, turkey, ostriches, parrots, frogs. How would I know? Just make it happen, man. What? Oh, man. Hold on. I, I gotta find some reception. I gotta find some. Hold on, man. No. Hold on. Bentley, why don't we have a phone like that to talk to Dimitri? You really want Dimitri calling you? Good point. Forget I asked. What's that? Oh, come on now. I scratched your stinky, stripy little back. Now you scratch mine. Not only that, I got those other crazy Koopa folks messing with my business now. So I gotta deal with that, and I don't see you giving me any help. No help. No. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I'll, I'll take care of it. Right. So hold on a second, please. Sorry, what's that? Oh, come on now. So sorry for it. Yeah, I'm crying over here. Just stay close. I'm still trying to access his phone data.
I'm rolling, I'm flowing, so bad it ain't fair. The Grizz will teach the paradox, don't mess with me. I'm rolling, I'm flowing, so bad it ain't fair. The Grizz will teach you a paradox, don't mess with the fan. Finding this all pretty entertaining. Yeah, it gives us an advantage if Grizz is off his game. tell you how it is. I am an artist. I got paintings to create. And I ain't putting up with any more of your excuses. Now, you give me the eggs I need for my paint, or I climb through this phone and squeeze them out of you myself. You got that player. Hello? Hello? Why you did that? Damn! I guess that means you didn't get the code? It does. Looks like we're back to square one. I guess the bear got away, huh? Carmelita, it's good to see you. Uh-huh. I'm only talking to you because I have some information for Bentley. I've been tailing Grizz on my own, and I have the security codes and full schematics for his mountain base. Wow. Thanks. You're welcome. 
So you'll get it to Bentley for me? Of course. I'm headed back to the hideout now. But wouldn't you rather hand it to him yourself? Maybe I should. After all, you're not exactly trustworthy, are you? Ouch. So, we're good, right? Don't push your luck, Ringtail. <laughs> I caught up with the ringtail to give him the intel I'd gathered on Grizz. Half of me still wanted to slap the smirk off his face, but the other half wanted to talk. Working on my own these past few days had given me time to think, and I'd realized some things. Sly may have been lying to me the whole time in Paris, but I'd lied to myself as well. In my heart, I knew something was up, but I didn't want to admit it. I wanted to believe he'd changed, that maybe I'd changed him. But Sly was who he was, and I had to accept that. Although this crazy time-traveling business had given me a new perspective on that, too. In the past, I'd always chased Sly, arriving on the scene after the fact. But now that I'd fought alongside him, with Bentley, Murray, and his ancestors, I had to admit a newfound respect. We aren't really so different. We both fight for justice. We just do it from opposite sides of the law. The question is, can I live with that? Honestly, I don't know. But for now, perhaps it's enough that I see things more clearly. And that we have a common enemy in Le Paradox. Because I am not going anywhere until I put that stinking weasel behind bars! The time has come to deal with Grizz. This guy is a menace to the time continuum, not to mention the arts. And it's time to shut him and his counterfeit cave painting production down. It appears he's already beefed up security, so he's probably expecting us. But thanks to Carmelita, we have complete schematics of his mountain base. So once we get inside, I'll be able to target the egg vats and make sure they're scrambled. Just a little... egg humor. <laughs> Next, Bob, you'll need to climb the main generator tower and pry the pressure valves open to completely disrupt power. That should start a fatal chain reaction in the system. Murray, at this point, you'll have to get to the master control panel and make sure no one can reset the system before the damage is done. Of course, you'll need to use your pugilistic skills on any guards that might get in your way. After this, the system will be completely disabled and we can do a little bear hunting. Sly, it'll be your job to take down Grizz when we find him. Well, that's the plan. You should all be clear on what needs to be done, so let's get out there and put this bear on ice.
Okay, this is our ticket inside. Carmelita, you'll be riding with Murray. Sly, you're with Bob and myself. Carmelita, are you sure you'll be all right? Of course. Why wouldn't I be? Well, I wouldn't want you to catch cold or something, sitting in that other car. Don't worry, Ringtail. I have my shock pistol to keep me warm. I need to destroy those egg vats and then make my way to the rendezvous point. Keep your communication channel open. I'll see you all later. Okay, Bentley. Just watch your step. Always, Sly. Always. Ugh. Oh, <laughs> 
if I disable that egg vat, this maintenance bridge will rise. Looks like those vats are wind powered. I need to knock out those blades to shut it down. This looks like a job for my explosive darts.
Sloppy, though, don't you think? Hey, that was almost a compliment. I'll take it. Way to hustle, Sly! Thanks. Now let's go find Murray. Man! I knew I should have made that left turn! <laughs> it's gonna be nice. Like sugar and spice. When I put that Cooper gang on ice. Riz? No way I'm letting this chunk get away! Bombs away! The Murray's got a beef with you, punk! Murray, we have to help him! Wait a sec, guys. Murray can handle this. What? Yeah, it's okay. Bentley's right. My money's on the hippo. Oh, snap! What have we here? It's a pink nightmare. Trust me, pal. You ain't dreaming. I'm tired of you Cooper chunks. The paradox, everybody. All I ever really wanted to do is skate. That's right. Uh, okay? No, 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 no. It ain't okay. You know why the Grizz love skating? It's clean, man. It's like just me and the ice. No complications, no hassles, no worries. Ever since I was a little kid, a little cub, it's the only time I truly feel free. And now, you Cooper punks roll in and you gonna spoil my dream? 
Well, it ain't going down like that. You better check the script, fat man, because the Grizz is about to show you how to skate. Oh, man. This won't take but a minute. Oh. It comes the Grizz.
me the grid. Oh, yeah, I got this. I'm gonna smack the pink right off you. Time to go to school, sucker! Here comes the grid! Murray. You were great! That performance was definitely a 10, pal. <laughs> Thanks, guys. I guess this makes up for all my screw-ups lately. Murray, we all make mistakes. It happens. But it doesn't matter because we're a team and we all have each other's backs. That's why we're unbeatable. Yeah, what he said. Today, you were the hero, Murray. And don't you forget it. Aw, oh, shucks. Hey, I'm starved. Anybody bring anything to eat? French fries? Pizza? Anything? An apple, even? Carmelita had cooled off a bit, but she hadn't forgiven me yet, and I really couldn't blame her. The last thing she wanted to do was join up with a bunch of thieves, something that went against everything she stood for. I could tell it was a tough decision, but in the end, she knew it was probably her only shot at busting the paradox. Dimitri was happy to finally hear from us, as he'd been worried his bros were warping their faces off, whatever that meant. He pointed us to our next destination, medieval England, and as it turned out, Grizz's crown was the perfect object to get us there. So, although we'd only uncovered this Ice Age scheme by accident, luck was definitely on our side. And we left in a confident mood, ready to tackle whatever fate had in store for us. Oh.